think one of the biggest challenges for almost any parent is just finding the time to take care of ourselves even a little bit to sort of sustain our own resilience in life. There's even been a study recently which suggests that just because of our smartphones and sort of the implication we can be on call 24-7, parents are feeling even more stressed and burned out than ever before. So I think it's important for every parent periodically to just step back and reassess the whole big picture. You know, what can we do as parents to help take care of ourselves day to day? And there's a few things I think that are a good starting point. And one of my favorite pieces of advice I've ever gotten in my whole life was as I entered medical school, someone told me, find one thing that keeps you sane and no matter how busy things get, you know, don't let go of that. So I became an ultimate Frisbee player. But for you, it could be anything else in life. So even when family life gets crazy, you might want to go for a run or knit or call a friend or you know, whatever it is that helps you feel stronger and more resilient and lets you take a break day to day. The second thing that builds resilience in everybody, this goes for parents and children, is to have strong relationships in life. So as an adult, that would typically mean finding and scheduling time because, again, the pressure pushes back for your friends or your spouse or whoever it is that you find most uh, sustaining, whoever sort of helps you feel stronger after your time together. A third part of resilience, again, both for parents and kids, is really staying focused just on what our strengths are and what's going well in life, which is a much more challenging thing than it sounds. There's a cognitive bias most people are quite familiar, familiar with called the negativity bias, which just says that the hard stuff in life, the things that seems off, often sticks more in our brains than everything else. So taking a few moments every day kind of in a natural, unforced way to remind ourselves of what we've been doing well or even do something called a gratitude practice is a real important way as well to come back to resilience and to feeling strong for our families. And then, of course, the last thing to do, uh, if, uh, if you're familiar with it, is just even taking a few minutes for mindfulness practice, for a practice that helps us stay settled through the day, can be a real strength builder. And it doesn't have to be something very extensive necessarily, but just coming back to that moment that allows us to step out of the chaos and let our brain settle for a moment can help our long-term resilience as well. But really, to do anything like this requires a real grounding in, in self-motivation and just recognizing its importance. So I would say, you know, to stay motivated as a parent, it's important to recognize that the real goal of self-care for a parent in many ways isn't just to feel better ourselves, although that obviously is great, but it's just recognizing that when we feel better and stronger ourselves, that helps our children and families.